Hello everyone, time for another Friday edition of the 5 Star News. I'm Gunnar Bryson. And I'm Owen Bryant. We have an action-packed lineup for you today, Gunnar. Uh, and it starts with Isaac Dell with some school announcements. Here's What's Up Heritage. Welcome back to What's Up Heritage. Now, let's get on to some Friday announcements. Seniors, if you're wanting to get your graduation necessities early, well, now you can. Jossens is now providing orders for graduation outfits right now. So get yours while you can. Our application to College Day will be happening on November 15th, so if you want to possibly get into your dream college, now is the time to do so. Students, the Thanksgiving food drive is going on now, so if you have any spare food, donate it today. Now, let's get on to the weather. For Friday, there will be some rain with high 67 and low 44. On Saturday, it will be slightly cloudy with high 52 and low 29. And for Sunday, it will be sunny with high 49 and a low 28. Now, let's get back to the anchors for more news. Thanks, Ike, and to the news now, we have yet another awesome fundraiser taking place at Heritage, and this one started earlier this week, on. Sure did. It's the annual FCCLA teacher fundraiser. Here's how it works. Heritage teachers have a featherless turkey on their door. In order to dress those turkeys with feathers, students can purchase feathers and show their support of their favorite teacher. And the best thing, on all the money raised goes to helping kids in Boynton and Wood Station Elementary for Christmas. Certainly a great cause. Here's Brady Irving and Gunner with more on the story. So we have our uh, Thank a Teacher fundraiser that FCCLA does every year. Um, it starts with FCCLA thanking all of the teachers by putting turkeys on their doors, um, just something to be kind of festive for this time of year. And then students have an opportunity to buy additional feathers for 25 cents each um, for their teachers just to say thank you. And then all of the money raised is used to buy presents for children from the Boynton and the Wood Station Angel Trees. I'm buying one from Mr. Dodson. He's a really nice teacher. I enjoy his classes and drafting, and uh, he's a really good guy, so I plan on buying the feather for him. So this year, I will probably be buying feathers for all the teachers I'm in this semester, so that includes Mr. Peace, Ms. Zip, Mr. Tollett, and Ms. McColl. Um, they're all fantastic teachers, and they deserve the love and care that you know getting a feather shows. Um, I think it's fun because the my students enjoy going around and putting the feathers on the classroom doors. I think teachers um, appreciate when students think of them and buy them a feather. And then the most fun is in the end when my students get to go and actually buy the presents for the students. Um, I hope they get tons of feathers, honestly. Like, they deserve them, like, all over the hall, like Miss Handy had last year. Thanks, guys, for that report. And now to a pretty cool fundraiser that just wrapped last month. Yes, October is always. Hold on, let's let Isaac tell them what it is down in the white room. Thanks, guys. And as you know, October is also known as... <clears throat> Give me a second. Squatover! Yeah, don't do that again, Owen. Oh, I love to hear Isaac say it. He sounds just like Coach Gibson. You know what? Yeah, let's hear that again. Squad over! Okay, okay, but let's find out how Coach Gibson's Squattober fundraiser turned out this year. Let's go! That's it. The t-shirt sale went really well. Uh, we were able to raise uh, a couple of hundred bucks, I think, to donate to charity, so uh, it was really good for us. Um, and I appreciate everybody that got one. There were several people even not in weight training, you know, that, that, that purchased one. I just want to thank everybody for their support on that. Um, we did squat, like I said, every day for four weeks. Uh, had a great time. We had to finish up last week a little bit in November to make sure we got our fourth week in. Uh, but it, it, it still went really well. And I think the kids had a good time. I think they're ready to move on. Uh, but I think they had a good time with it. Hey, Squattober is a lot of fun this week. Uh, it's always tough. We have fall break right in the middle of it. Uh, but at the same time, the month of October, uh, we take and we squat in some form, shape, or fashion every single day. Sometimes it's back squats, which is obviously our favorite. Uh, some front squats, some uh, single leg squatting, uh, both forward and lateral. Um, some explosive style squatting, some pause squats, um, bands, chains. You know, it, there, there's endless variations. And we just try to expose the kids to a bunch of different ways uh, to strengthen our lower body. Uh, especially in the anterior chain with squatting. So uh, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's an experimentation kind of time to kind of open the kids' eyes to, you know, hey, there's not just one way of, of, of killing the cat, so to speak, or skinning the cat, I guess, what, um, with uh, weight training. But uh, at the same time, um, it, it's usually a lot of fun. Uh, and so we get after it pretty good during that month. Congrats to everyone involved with that one. I'm tired just watching them do all those squats. True that, but 
You can do the rest during the commercial break. Sounds good, but everyone needs to tune in after the break for Brody Irvin's Sports at Report. Brody will have a preview of tonight's football playoff game, and he'll tell you where our Heritage Soccer Girls will be playing at college next year. Stay tuned. Sports is next. Five Star Sports with Brody Irving starts now. Sports time here on the show, and we got a lot to talk about today, so let's get going with football. Coach Slaughter and his 8 and 2 generals are on the road tonight down at Walnut Grove High School for their first round matchup in the state football playoffs. Heritage will be trying to win their second state playoff game in school history, and we talked to some coaches and players earlier this week about the game and their chances of winning and advancing to the Sweet 16. Here's Coach Green with the preview. It's Walnut Grove. It uh, should be a pretty good game, pretty good matchup. They have the same record as us, and they're in a pretty tough region, kind of like us. So uh, we'll see what happens. It should be a good game, though. Uh, we're all going to have to do our jobs on every play of the game, and we're going to have to be really physical. We're a team that typically has to uh, be high attention to detail, right? We have to do the little things right. Uh, and when we don't, you know, it's tough going for us. But when we do, uh, I think those eight games that we've won are, are pretty proof that, uh, um, you know, when we do the little things right, and combine that with maximum effort, that uh, things go our way. A lot of teamwork, you know, everybody's been out the flu, so all we need to do is get together and, you know, fight like a team. Uh, it's really big. We think we got a really good shot this year, actually. It's one of the best teams we've ever had, and I think it'll be a good game. Good luck tonight, guys. Bring back a dub. To soccer now, and while Coach Peters and Coach Terry's girls' soccer doesn't start until January, one of the players made some big news here on Wednesday. Senior Molly Kaysen announced that she'll continue her soccer career in college at East Tennessee State University next year. Our five-star news cameras were there at Molly's signing on Wednesday, and Gunnar Bryson has more in this report. Yeah, Molly's an incredible human being. She's just so sweet and so kind. She's uh, uh, going to be signing with ETSU to play soccer up there. Um, it's a pretty big-time program, um, but she's a big-time player. So they're getting a good one. Um, she just does so much for us. She's such an example of what we rep what we want our girls to represent here at Heritage and, and the Heritage Soccer Program. She's awesome in the classroom. Uh, she's awesome uh, – you know, with her teammates, and she's just an incredible uh, soccer player. Um, I'm really proud of myself and just everybody involved in my life, and I have a great people, great group of people behind me just supporting me and being here today, and I love all of them, and it made it a really emotional day, but I'm excited about it, and I'm ready for the next chapter. It's so cool because signing day is, is early. Um, so uh, with signing day being so early, she's, she gets assigned now. Kind of her pressure's off as far as finding a school to go to, that kind of thing. And she can just kind of relax and enjoy this senior year with her teammates. Uh, we got a challenging year, and uh, so she's going to lead us through some of those challenges. We've got some tough opponents this year. and uh, um, I feel like it just gives me more to play for. I'm just excited to be here for this team and be a leader, and I just want to be here for everybody. And I want to have the best season we've had because it's my last one, and I know it means a lot to a lot of us seniors. So I'm looking forward to it. I think she's got she's got the character, athleticism, the skill to do that. Um, I don't know enough about ETSU's program right now, their personnel, and kind of what they're working with. But I think she's going to be impactful whether she's getting a lot of minutes this year as a or next year as a freshman, or you know if she's kind of biding her time a little bit and working her way into the rotation. But I think she's going to make an immediate impact no matter what her playing time looks like. I think it's definitely going to be a lot of work and training, and I'm going to have to do a lot on the front end of it, I guess, and be ready for it. But. I'm excited, and I hope I get to play some at least. Thanks for sports, Brody, and we have one more segment before we let you guys go today. But it's well worth the wait, Gunner. 
Oh, no doubt. It's time for Bobby's World. Here's Pinner Alton and Aaliyah Hensley. Take it away, guys and girls. Woo! I'm back, baby. I'm back. Action. Woo! Bobby's World live. Here we go. What is going on in Bobby's world right now? What is going on in Bobby's world right now? Well, we got the of T-shirts going on, trying to trying to get them. I think the guy has made a one load. He's getting them printed, and he's going to be sending them off pretty soon to us. So that and just this this and that and everything else, you know, in between. What is your favorite holiday season and why? I guess, but I guess my favorite holiday is Christmas. You know, that's the birth of Jesus. You know, everybody else wants the gifts and that, but you know, I, when you're a kid, you know, that's what you think. But you know, a Christmas to me is sort of like a easy. You know, everybody seems like to me people's nicer. You know, around the holidays, and I, I always like Christmas. And what is your favorite Thanksgiving food? Well, you know it's got to be ham. I like ham year round, but I like ham and sweet potato casserole. I want to thank everybody. Really, I probably said this before. That's watching the show. Everything's good. Got a few people's watching, and this T-shirts they they selling okay. It's just around the holidays. Everybody's selling everything else. So maybe we'll come out of this and everything be well. But okay. And with that, we'll wrap up this Friday edition of the Five Star News. We're going to join you next Tuesday with a brand new report. But, but until, until then, then, have a great, great weekend, weekend, everyone, and stay classy, Heritage. Heritage.